qualify for the tournament that will happen in December. That tournament will crown the first ever VCW heavyweight champion. And Andrew Palace is the pulse of VCW. I can't imagine a tournament without him, but it's a real possibility going up against someone like Patrick Hayes. I totally agree with you. As the gods here in McMechan, West Virginia. There is a hurricane happening, and that is not stopping us here in West Virginia. Through the leak, through the flood, through the flame, we will bring Victory Championship Wrestling into your homes. We're sort of like the postal service of pro wrestling. I like that. We should put that on a t-shirt. But as you mentioned, Andrew Palace, such an amazing uh, fan favorite here in VCW. Patrick Hayes, also a great mainstay. And both of these men, one of them it's only a, being able to qualify this tournament does seem weird. I do agree. But we got we to acknowledge what's happening. There is absolutely a wet spot in the ring, and we bring that up because, hey, this is pro wrestling. Things happen. B, that's now something these competitors across the entire night are going to have to be aware of. You talked about how the ring might get slick because of sweat. This is nature's wrath taking its toll on these competitors. Patrick Hayes. Obviously coming here with a bit of a chip on his shoulder. I think also particularly pointing that chip at Andrew Palace. Andrew Palace was the one that secured the victory for Team Beastman in war games. He was the one that submitted Wilbur Whitlock. These two are no strangers. They have spent the better part of a year battling each other. So there's very unlikely to be a feeling out process. There's just a lot of hatred. The real question at play, can Patrick Hayes stay focused? He has had Zeke Mercer on his mind. Zeke Mercer was, uh, his leg was broken at the hands of Patrick Hayes. Mercer has been back. You know Patrick Hayes wants to put Mercer on the shelf permanently. And you mentioned Zeke Mercer, not just Patrick Hayes coming off of the loss in war games, but also at our last event in a tag match, uh, teaming with Thunderbird Jake Ely, losing to Zeke Mercer and Crash Jackson. Patrick Hayes was the one who basically effectively disbanded the deplorables by walking out on the Thunderbird Jake Ely. We're going to see another member of that former foursome, no good Nathan Allridge, in action tonight. And we haven't seen Wilbur Whitlock since he lost that War Games match. Patrick Ely. Almost a game of chess right here in the early goings, trying to get the Spasmanian Devil off his game by delaying things, so to speak. The Spasmanian Devil giving the handshake. Oh, no. And I think Patrick Hayes may be regretting the uh, show, of show of sportsmanship as insincere as it may have been. Patrick Ely, or excuse me, Patrick Hayes, I should say. You know, Andrew Palace, such a high, high uh, explosive wrestler in that ring that Patrick really has to take the pace down, slow it down in order to get an advantage here on Andrew Palace. Patrick Hayes has no problem muscling his way through his opponents, but I know that Patrick Hayes is very resentful. At our very first event, there was supposed to be a match that would crown the first VCW Heavyweight Championship. It was through a lottery system, and it was gonna be Patrick Hayes versus the Beast Man. In that match, it was interrupted by what would become the Deplorables, No Good Nathan Allridge and Wilbur Whitlock, and Patrick Hayes very angry that he has to work his way through a tournament instead of just getting another shot at that belt. This tournament already very stacked in terms of talent. You got people like Damian Chambers, Nathan Allridge, as you mentioned, Cowpoke Paul, Madman Fulton, Jason Kincaid, and Remy LeVay. And I gotta think either one of these men if they were to qualify for this tournament, have to be one of the favorites. It's a very stacked roster in the tournament, and by the end of tonight, we will know everyone competing in that tournament in December, which will air here on Fight TV on Pay Per View. Who's going to make it into the tournament? Is it going to be the Spasmanian Devil or the very, very handsome Canadian? 
And now Andrew with a side headlock. Gets sent off in the ropes by Pretty Patrick Hayes, but gets taken down with a shoulder tackle. Andrew Palace, I would say the smaller of the two in this competition, but still able to shoulder tackle and take Pretty Patrick Hayes down to the mat. But Patrick Hayes now has Andrew Palace on the outside. Andrew Palace may not have the size advantage, but don't be mistaken. That does not mean that Palace isn't thick with muscle. He is a very strong competitor. That's just Ooh. how big and impressive. And at this point, it looks like Patrick Hayes is almost playing keep away from the ring. Very small, that's good uh, notation there. I think, ooh, and now just a knee right to the side of the head, head of Andrew Palace. This is what he needs to do, ground Andrew Palace and beat him down into the mat like he, ooh! It's like he's one to do with many opponents. It's the, oh, here we see Patrick Hayes giving us a look as he grinds his forearm onto Andrew Palace. At this point, not necessarily even trying to get the win, but just Oh, he's going to drown him. Yeah. He's going to drown him. Uh, this is called waterboarding in the international courts, and it is, of course, illegal both in pro wrestling and in the art of warfare. But Patrick Hayes, we've seen it time and time again here at VCW, willing to take any advantage that he can get. Patrick Hayes looking to cause an international incident here at VCW. Oh, and look at how he just wrenches in on that side headlock and uses all of his weight to just crank in on that neck, choke off that windpipe of Andrew Palace. And when you can't breathe, you know, your stamina gets taken to and it's so much harder to fight. Drown a man, choke a man, whatever you do to make sure that he can't have a second win because Andrew Palace isn't a competitor with a second win. He's got three, four, five wins in him. There's a reason they call him the Spaz Manian Devil. Irish Whip now. Oh, big running drop kicking in a corner. It's and that now explosivity that makes Andrew Palace so dangerous. And now, big side oh, suplex drops it. Patrick Hayes right on the top of his head. Cover, hook of the leg. But only two. It's as you mentioned before, Patrick Hayes needs to try and keep the pace slow, needs to keep Andrew Palace on the mat as soon as Palace gets to his feet. I mean, this is a man who in everyday life acts like he's had seven surges. Oh. Oh, and a big boot right to the jaw of Andrew Palace. That's going to stop any momentum, any energy in the, in the body of Andrew Palace. Oh, and gets dropped right onto the knees with a gut buster. Pretty Patrick Hayes taking a moment to try and shake the cobwebs. The, the question is, can he capitalize? He couldn't, you know, the punishment that Andrew Palace has already dished out to Patrick Hayes, he couldn't capitalize off of a big move like that over a big momentum shift in this match and get a cover. There was a question about whether Patrick Hayes was going to be able to be focused on this match with Mercer on his mind. And while Zeke Mercer is absolutely living in Patrick Hayes' head rent-free, it certainly seems like for tonight here at Five Day Friday that Patrick Hayes is staying focused. But this is a this is a place we haven't seen Patrick Hayes go off in the top rope. And Andrew Palace stopping him right in his tracks. Uh, <laughs> what a terrifying sight it would be lying prone on the mat to see a man as big as Patrick Hayes coming at you like death from above. I, I would not envy Andrew Powell's in that position, but really high, high risk predicament here. Big superplex! And Andrew Palace may have just knocked down the big Yukon Redwood that is Patrick Hayes and just barely, barely does the pretty one Get the shoulder up. And much like Patrick Hayes earlier, Andrew Powell is so spent from lifting Patrick Hayes over into that superplex that he couldn't take the time to hook that leg, get a tight cover in, and get his shoulders down to the mat. We see the pain etched on the face of Andrew Palace. A lot of damage has been done to that midsection. That gut buster may have cracked a rib. Oh, but look at Patrick Hayes, so smart here, grasping onto the leg of Andrew Palace and just almost being dead weight that Andrew Palace has to expend more energy to lift up. Also rolling over onto his shoulders. You cannot pin a man unless the shoulders are on the ground. So great positioning by Patrick oh! Hayes. Brainbuster applied to the devil. 
Patrick Hayes still not able to put away Andrew Palace, even though he drove him straight into the mat with that brain buster. Patrick Hayes just as incredulous as all of us as he thought he had punched his ticket into that tournament, that tournament to crown the first ever VCW Heavyweight Championship, a tournament that already includes luminaries like Jason Kincaid and the monster Fulton. One of these two men is going to join that tournament in December. Who do you think it's going to be, Eamon? I got to say, if Patrick Hayes doesn't get focused here, if he doesn't let that missed opportunity get to his head, he could capitalize, but letting Andrew Palace get up to his feet. I think Hayes really wants to toy with Palace. Now up onto the shoulders. Andrew Palace able to float over. Could be thinking Shiranu again. Hits it this time. Shot to the gut. Takes him up and pile drives him right to the mat. Just drove Patrick's head into the... And that's it! The racing pulse of VCW has a chance to add first ever VCW champion to his resume. It is now Andrew Palace, Nathan Allridge, Jason Kincaid, Fulton, Remy LaVey, Damian Chambers, and Cowpoke Paul. We're gonna see who else joins them in that tournament tonight. I gotta think Andrew Palace is the favorite if you're a betting man in that tournament. He's and got the experience, he's got the speed, he has the energy. Andrew Palace brings a lot to the table. Palace signaling he is ready to become laden, draped in gold. Patrick Hayes looking very much the worst for wear. Almost not sure what just happened. I mean, taking a pile driver like that. Patrick Hayes definitely has to go back to the drawing board and refocus himself if he wants a, a successful career here in VCW. Because honestly, after the deplorables have... have that hellacious Falls Count Anywhere matchup we saw between Laura Loveless and Badger and Baldwin a few months ago, I think it's fair to say that this rivalry may not be settled until one of these females are put out of professional wrestling. Zoe Sky, a veteran of the square circle, as far as uh, women's professional wrestling, she is one of the most accomplished women anywhere on the independent scene. For several years, she has competed against top tier competition. And as, as I mentioned, has shined in rise so far. Zoe Sky, Laura Lovelace, gonna start this one off. And you can see the technical prowess of Zoe Sky right out of the start here. Misdirection. And the savvy veteran, quite literally wrestling circles around Loveless, making a tag to Katie Bright, if I heard. The very talented Red Watson during our ring introductions. Of course, this matchup originally was supposed to be Scarwit and Laura Loveless, who have been running buddies here in Rise. Scarwit unable to be here. So an opportunity for Katie Bright And we can see the animosity between the Badger and Laura Loveless, but the Badger turned her back and is gonna pay for it. And look out, the Badger is looking to tear Laura to bits here. The Badger may be looking to take that leg home with her. Conference here between Badger and uh, Zoe Sky. The Badger, the Badger's going on the hunt. Hello, Tad Jarvis. 
Oh, sorry, sorry. Right there. That's all right. You got to get some, some refreshments to keep you hydrated. Zoe Sky, beautiful missile drop kick, takes out everybody, hooks that leg. Now, Ted, you know the reputation of Zoe Sky, a time tested veteran, so accomplished, and it's so great to see her here at Rise. Nothing but good things to say about Zoe Sky, a tremendous addition to the Rise women's roster. Sidestep from Katie Bright. Savat kick to the stomach, and that's Wise Wrestling takes the, the air out of her opponent. Beautiful neck breaker, very crisp execution from Katie Brighton, who I believe is in her formative year of professional wrestling, but is a highly touted prospect. Look at Badger. Badger's trying to get that tag in. Oh, she, she is knows. aching to get in there with Laura Lovelace. Now here's the question. Do you, you think Laura is ready for Badger? I think Laura is as unbalanced as anybody and as dangerous as anybody. I don't think anybody can second guess what Laura's going to do inside those ring ropes. There could be some tag team continuity here between the uh, newly formed tag team. And as I was saying dur during our introductions, Ted, anybody that is, wait a minute, hooks the leg here, finds two. Anybody that has been recruited by War Lovelace, you know, has to be dangerous. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. War is going to find somebody that thinks like her and works like her. Looks that leg one more time. But there we're seeing the durability of Zoe Sky. You don't last as long as Zoe in this industry unless you're durable. And she's showing that tenacity right here. Look at her fighting, Matt. That's what you need. You gotta start fighting back. You gotta get that tag in. Oh, and there's the power of Laura, but there's the the aggressiveness of the Badger. Do we get our? Are we getting our tag in? Or she's just an inch away. Laura may have been locked a little loopy. She needed a second to uh, try to figure out where she was in the ring. Oh. And Enziguri, that's what I'm talking about. And oh. finally, the tag into Badger, and I wouldn't want to be this young lady right now, Katie Bright. No, I wouldn't. The wrath of the Badger is unmatched. Going for that stunner. But a numbers game again creeping up here. We've seen it all night. Oh. Badger puts on the brakes. Look at Badger just fighting them off. And the Badger quite literally clawing at the flesh of her opponents. Oh, I wonder if she has any broken ribs after that one. Badger using that low center of gravity as a battery ram. And that's how dangerous the Badger is. She can generate offense from anywhere like we're seeing right here. Hooks that leg. And I gotta give this young lady who, as I mentioned in her formative years of wrestling, Katie Bright is not, not uh, gonna be a pushover. She knows what an opportunity on a Rise event means. That's true, but I wouldn't take Badger lightly either. Oh, and the stunner out of nowhere. And Laura's having a fit on the ring apron. Oh. Wait a minute, Badger. She just lifted her opponent up, and she is staring daggers through Laura Loveless. It's very clear to you and I, Tad, that the Badger wants Laura Loveless. Oh, and that's exactly what she wants. Personal rivalries may equip competition here. Oh, and are you kidding me? Laura <laughs> refusing to take the tag. How are you going to leave your own partner to be feasted in a ring by Badger. And Badger may look to make an example of this right here. Laura Loveless is quite literally running for the hills here. And I can't, well I can believe it because we know Laura is only concerned about herself. But Badger's playing with her food, look at her. The Badger is gonna make an example. And you know this is going right to Laura Loveless. This is a message sent to Laura here. 
That's exactly what it is. Look at her staring her down. And there's the win for Badger. Oh, she is not, her sights are set. Zoe Sky and the Honey Badger are victorious, but I'm gonna I'm gonna reiterate what I said earlier, Ted. I sincerely believe this rivalry between the Honey Badger and Laurel Loveless may not be over until one of those ladies is put out of professional wrestling. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. because he has to deal with the Wiz World Order. What a stupid, what wait, stupid wait, parody. Why do you put them down so much, Tony? Have you looked at them? It's called heat. They you look have a bunch of heat, I'll say it, with them, all because of that Permani statement. Look, fries on sandwiches are, I don't need to explain this to you. Why are you, He's I like them both, okay? I like them both. You look like me. food in general, yes, I know. You're portly. You're big, big bones. I'm portly, sure. We're gonna go with it. So anyways, some big port you are. You're the Boston <laughs> Harbor over here. All I'm going to say is this, Tony. The tea party happened in your... Never mind. My God, Tony, you're killing me here. Okay, brotherly love taking on the apex. And I mean... With, and now... The, the, Ron, Ron Hunt's actually fighting with some fans here. Not very popular in Worthington. Thanks, Billboard. But I mean, all I got to say is brotherly love is pretty much 0-3 versus the apex right now. I mean, everybody here wants Brotherly Love to win one. They want to see them, you know, propel up the charts to hopefully get a 2PW Tag Team Championship uh, opportunity. But right now, they have to go through the apex. And I mean, wait, 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 wait. They're asking the crowd, wait, wait, what? Did he just try to... You yeah. got something on your shirt? Yeah. Are, are, are you literally trying to have Revron Hunt fall for that? Fall for that. I mean, he never falls for that. Cliff Klepto's known to do this. I mean, he's I, known, No, he's he, done to me like several times today alone. Has he got you? Every time. I don't wow. know why it is. I mean, the man has the possessive power over people. His eyes, man. There's something in his eyes, you know? All right, well, here we go. We're the and up oh, third time. Maybe this is a charm. Then again, Buffalo Bill said the same thing in the Super Bowl. Oh, wait a minute. Ron Hunt now. Oh, big punch. Hey, there's something Come on your face. And now here we go. The Apex now just taking it out on Brotherly Love, making them look like the team from Washington on Monday night. I hate to say it. Sorry, guys. Go Birds. But right now, the Apex just... In Here. control and just stomping the hell out of Brotherly Love. For, I for, have to say, go birds if I don't. I, the I hope understand on that, me. but let's be frank here. You're a Falcons fan. Yes, which means I know what it's like to deal with grief and loss all the time. And up and over, Ron Hunt dealing with some grief and loss, missing that close line. And here comes Klepto with that big right. And uh, both the apex down on the ground. And Klepto now, and now it's going outside here. And got, what can I say, Tony? It's always a fight with these guys. It's never really a match. Yeah, I, I don't think they've had a legit match. Yet, because they just don't like each other. Apex don't like each other. Or the Apex. Oh wait a minute! Oh no! Oh no! No no no! Oh! oh that's how you do it. That's how you do it. And no, the no, this is the cutting the children beat the Apex. Well, and of course, oh. of course, it's Worthington, so they just hit Rev. Well, you know, Tony, I'm not going to say anything. David Lawless will call you later. But I mean, I can't believe. What I'm seeing here. Oh, no. We're going for... There's yeah. more children yeah, beating we're, on the just rev. Just hit rev. Just hit rev. That's Worthington for you. Now it's just a... Will you... Okay. Klepto needs to pull 
punt away from the fans. I, I, CJ Sensation, I never see him lose control of a matchup. We're seeing it now. I can't I'm, 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 I'm worried. 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 I'm and here we have the leaders of the Wiz World Order in control of the Apex right now. Obviously, could this be it? Could this be the win that Brotherly Love has been searching for? Now, notice that uh, Wiz, both both Brotherly Love and the Apex are without their backup. Both uh, Apex is without uh, Curtis Regatti or uh, uh, AJ yeah, Alexander, yeah. and uh, of course, Wiz, uh, Brotherly Love without Dior Castro, who they call their Rocky. Yeah, pretty much their meat beater. What? They're meat beater. I mean, he, he, he's the one that beats the meat for the Philly cheesesteaks that they make that are excellent, by the way. You you like their meat in your mouth? Uh, well, you know, Tony, if the price is right. But right now, oh, right in the corner we go. And Brother of Love in complete control of this matchup. And Weird. they are just taking advantage of a beaten Ron Hunt, thanks to the fans here at 2PW. And here he comes. Dawkins now lines up and, oh, flying back elbow. Ricky Dawkins going in and just... Blitzing Ron Hunt in the corner here. Now these guys pretty much have him in the death corner, as they like to call it, Veteran Stadium. Now tagging in is Cliff Crepto. And here we go. Brotherly Love doing what they do best. And flies in and, oh, big clothesline. And quick fresh tags, tags. Quick tags. I mean, this is smart tag team. To Very Tony. smart. Sends him. Oh, flying drop kick. And Hunt is down. And look at this, Kvots just supposed to get his hands on him. I mean, the thing is, the more Brotherly Love fights these guys, the more brutal I've seen the Apex. But right now, not so much. Up the oh, just lands him. Pretty much a Vader bomb on that one by uh, Ricky Dawkins. One, only a one count though. Ron Hunt kicking out of that one. Yeah, these two, these, again, these two teams just don't like each other. And, you know, the, the, the frustration that these fans have against the Apex is is matched by the frustration Brotherly Love has against the Apex. And quite honestly, it's bleeding over to us. We're frustrated right now just watching this. We want to fight someone. I want to fight you. Why do you want to fight me for? I didn't do anything. I'm I, just I'm just, I, uh, I, uh, anyway. I had, to, I had to, you know, the honor of talking to Rev Ron earlier. He said he's sick of their whiz-covered crap. And I mean, Tony, you think about it. They have been a thorn in the side of the Apex, win or loss in, in, when it comes to the rank. But right now, it takes him out. Oh, no. Oh no. And now Ricky Dawkins a little bit. Oh, that steel beam. And oh my goodness. Something I don't think you might have noticed, but I definitely noticed that Ricky Dawkins favoring his right knee. Something might have popped there. And he, he was going for that. And he was going for that second group Vader bomb again. And his knee gave way. And I don't know if Apex picked up on it. I certainly did. Oh, but something else got popped, Tony, right on that steel beam. And. Ricky Dawkins is in a lot of trouble right now. I mean, this man's getting married soon. I feel really bad for him. But right now... I feel bad for his wife. Oh, wow, come maybe. on! And now... And now... Face first a turnbuckle, and now the Apex has Ricky Dawkins in their corner. Their holy corner. And right now, here we go. Oh, big shot by Kavad. And watch Kavad go. I mean, he is just a master of his craft. Did you see that European uppercut? Just sleek, and how he just... Just maneuvers. Kavad's right. agility is off the charts. This man moves with the speed. Oh, like that leg drop right yeah, there? Yeah, right there. Pure example of what Tony Kincaid was talking And he locked the leg, but it just wasn't enough to get Dawkins for the three. Well, I mean, this is how Joshua Kavad operates. Fast and furious. The man, nothing he does is without merit. He calculates every single move. These stomps are calculated. He is setting up for something. Notice how he's arm wrangling him and now jumping over. And up. Big senton right there. Senton, but I was going to say, Tony, you, know, you were describing him earlier. Grace and disaster all in one. I mean, the man just is fluent. He's unreal. He's fluid. I, I, I know you said fluent. You meant fluid. Fluid is a great way to describe him. Yeah. Um, Thanks for saving me on that one. But fluid, I mean, Tony, just look at him. He is just, he is just breaking down Dawkins piece by piece. But notice everything he does has a purpose. There's no wasted movement, no wasted piece of energy with Joshua Kavad. The region focuses every move is designed to do something. Big suplex right there. Cover one. That was a float over suplex. Yep. You see how he did that and then Kavad and going stays the on him. This is why Kavad was recruited by the Apex because he doesn't waste moves. No, he doesn't. And I mean, look at that. Now holding him back from getting that tag and just at least waiting till Rev gets in the ring. Now, Rev took quite a beating earlier, but let's see what happens here. And now since Kavad in and oh, that move never gets old. 
Now here comes oh. big knee to the face. Oh man! I think Dawkins is down. I mean, my goodness. I mean, CJ Sensation even cringed on that one. My goodness, what a knee! One, two, and no. And Re oh, Rev's getting mad. We're well, I mean, Ricky place. Dawkins is trying to shake himself awake, but just like Dallas Goddard, that knee could have put him on the IR. And oh my goodness, good call on that one, Tony. But right now, I have him on my fantasy team. Thanks, Birds. <laughs> right now. Revron Hunt having a little bit of a tough time wrangling Dawkins, but then again, Dawkins is weak after getting that knee right to the face. And right now, this tag in is uh, Kavad. Kavad now double axe handle across the back. Dawkins is trying everything to get his hand near Cliff Klepto, and then he's just he's struggling. You can see that Dawkins knows when he's in trouble. He does everything he can to try to get over. Now kicking that right knee, which we know is damaged. From earlier. Kavad, when he smells blood, he goes after it, and he is doing that right now as we speak, just playing the role of Jaws and just stomping all over Dawkins off the ropes. He goes in. My goodness. Low end. It's pretty much like a, more of a stomp than it was a drop. Like a flying stomp. You notice da Dawkins oh. try, oh, rolling through it. Rolling splash right there. One, two, and only a two count. Man, Kavad again with the rolling splash. And Dawkins is trying. He's, He's fighting. He's so kicking hard. and clawing to get over to Click, click, click. Just click, like click, every click. Philadelphia fan when they get blustered, he's trying to run away now. Wow, you went there. Okay, and now oh, Doc is trying to fight here, and now oh, he's going for some. And Zaguri, I can't believe he was able to pull that off, especially with the injured knee. Can Dawkins get over there? Klepto is facing just the right bananas. way. He's facing the right way. Now, Ricky Dawkins trying to knock out those cobwebs and trying to get over to tag his partner here in Brotherly Love. Let's see what happens. Can the Philly boys do it? Can they get their first win here in 2PW? But wait a minute, Kavad's crawling over to a fresh Rev Ron Hunt, a fresh dangerous Rev Ron Hunt. Dawkins needs to get this tag. He's locked away the They're at an eight here. count here right now. They're at nine, and tags him in! Klepto and Hunt, Hunt and Klepto. Oh, take it out, Kavad. Here comes Klepto. Oh, Cliff is a man possessed right now and just chops to the chest for everyone, handing them out faster than cheesesteaks. My goodness. Cliff Klepto is just fired up. I mean, we've seen this man in singles action. We've seen this man take out some of the best in Pittsburgh. And right now, here we go. Oh, little tribute to this. Little tribute to the 76ers, Allen Iverson, one of the best players in NBA history. Oh, wait. One of the best handlers for sure. Here we go. What are we going to talk about? Practice? No, he has him up to the shoulders. And, oh, my goodness. Wait. TKO, but I think that took out. That took, that took CJ Sensation out. I mean, the Cliff Klepto size 12 just kicked CJ Sensation right underneath the jaw. CJ Sensation is staggered right now. Yeah, CJ ate that flush. Try, trying to check for teeth. And, of course, that answer elbow. I'm going to call it the answer elbow because that was out of Iverson's nickname. Yes, AI, it the answer. Oh, no, wait a minute, no, 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 the bet referee's back's turn. Oh, we can't be doing this. Rev Ron Hunt out that chair. The apex loads are a little bit rampant here in Worthington, PA. I kind of don't blame Hunt. Right now has a chair. Uh-oh. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, no, are you kidding? Oh, no. CJ, oh, no. DQ, DQ. No, wait a minute, no. Hunt handed him the chair. Are you kidding me right now? Um, um, I don't think he knew CJ was up. Nope. Yeah, CJ's, CJ's been around knows. a long time. He saw CJ's Eddie CJ's done this. CJ's done this before. And the match is still going to happen. Big caught. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, no. He, he caught it. Big oh. super kick by Dawkins. Oh, no, wait. They have Kavad up. This could be it. Oh, Greeks from Brotherly Love. They have it. Uh, what's going on here? Rev's the legal man, I believe. Yeah, here we go. They have Rev up. And oh, it could be it right here. Could this be it? One, two, no! The Apex kicks out. Rev Ron Hunt was this close of giving Brother in Love their first victory. And oh, no, wait a minute. Now, oh, grabbing the chair. Kaval was going for that chair shot. CJ picked sensation. up on it, yeah. And now, wait a minute. Klepto helping Dawkins up. Could we do it here? Oh my goodness. Wait, wait, wait. That's, that's a socket eight ball. Holy shnikes. He just took them both out. One, two, 
Three, damn it! The Apex victorious here tonight. Special thanks to the, I'll say it, the homie stick from back in the lit. You know, you ever seen Living Color? That's exactly no, no, what I that is. No, no, I have seen Living That's Color. Exactly I'm surprised you've is. seen Living, living con Color. I'm, I'm, a, I'm an old man. What do you expect? What I want to say, Tony, is the simple fact is Ron, re the Red Ron Hunt pulling that out and knocking both Dawkins and Klepto out. Again, the Apex victorious, but then again, victorious over what, what standards, Tony? Oh, well, you know what? I'm sick and tired of your little crapshoot here. Hello, friends. I'm your pal in the mainstream media. And, and I'm the Riz. And, and you, you know, much? Riz, it takes years of strenuous, dedicated training before you're worthy to step inside a professional wrestling ring. But it takes even more time to develop complex, highly astute opinions about professional wrestling. Am I right? That is correct. Yes. And you know where we can find that? Yes. On the Wrestling Man. That's right. The measuring stick of RWA, you know, I mean, of course, Shane Andrews lost the injury because we used to refer to him as the measuring stick. Right now, that is the measuring stick. That right there is the top of the food chain have, when it comes to RWA, in my honest, mind. Let's be honest. We have several measuring sticks. Daniel Eads definitely qualifies as one of them. I would say that Daniel Eads is the current locker room leader. Oh, wait. He's pointing at him. He wants It wasn't beat. just the point. It was, it was the, you know, the old... <laughs> we, we can't really say the club, but you know what? what I'm talking about. Yes, I Targets do. Targets sighted. And this is revenge. This has to be a little bit of revenge on, on Daniel Eads' mind. Maybe Elijah Cruz finds out tonight why on the back of his shorts it says one. Well, on the back of his trunks, excuse me, one punch Dan. Yeah. Good, good call on that one. And look and at the rush. No, look at that. Look at that. Now, he is trying. He wants a piece. And Elijah Cruz just hiding between those ropes. But one thing about the temptation of Elijah Cruz, there's always a plan involved. There's always something. You know, Project X taking him under his wing. And this is how Project says was born. These two are the main members, you could say. And there's a lot more members of Project Society we haven't even seen yet. And again, Elijah Cruz playing it smart and almost pretty much out the ring on that one. Yeah, I've heard I've heard the stories you've told me about Project Society and the, the damage that they do over over in Eclipse. Yes, they have taken over Altoona, Pennsylvania's territory, whether the rest of the Eclipse locker room likes it or not. But back to the RWA locker room. Yeah. Can they try to pull that off here? And right now, I mean, like I said, you're going at the top of the food chain when it comes to the man of tomorrow, I, Daniel Eads. I talked to Daniel Eads, tried to at least, in the, in the back. And while Daniel Eads doesn't like me, he does give me one word answers as a, they go for a float over, and then Elijah Cruz pushes him off. And well, wait a minute now. Oh, again, he's hiding in fear is Elijah Cruz. And I mean, that float over, did you see his little cocky smirk? And you see, he wants to try to antagonize. And oh, and that's the antagonism. Using that referee as a shield, you could say, and slapping. <laughs> Daniel Eads, you don't slap Daniel Eads, it never goes well. Oh, 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 huge forearm. How was that forearm? And right now, just taking it to Elijah Cruz. My goodness, and Daniel Eads just delivering those forearms. I mean, he wants revenge. That's yeah, remember, what Eads had... And, oh, big chop. Remember, Eads had a month and an eight-hour drive from Indiana to stew over this. Yes, he did. Oh, I heard that one. I mean, when he came in this morning, when he came in earlier today, morning, he early was morning, yeah. early this morning. Morning. He was just quiet, not his usual self. He likes to talk a lot, but right now he, he has his sights set on and oh, and oh st and stomping on the feet, extending that chest out, and just taking it right to the temptation. Elijah Cruz, Elijah Cruz, in a little bit of trouble here. You do not want to make Project X angry. I never made him angry, and he don't pick on me. But my goodness, did you see that float over suplex? Just chucked him. Just threw him. My goodness, that's I mean, not a release. That's a throw. Yeah, he just chucked him like a bag of potatoes. And right now, Elijah Cruz, you can see on his face, he is feeling it right now. And, oh, big European uppercut. And Daniel Weeds now in control of this matchup. Can he keep, he has to keep his head on a swivel, though, because now Project X is on the outside, watching over Cruz. You notice Daniel Eads making eye contact, direct eye contact with Project X. Oh, he wants another piece of him. And, oh, just like a battering hand running into those ribs. My goodness. And now, Tony, look at him sitting in the corner. Oh, you know what's about to happen here. Here, Daniel Weeds. Here we go. And as that jelly, oh, this. oh, what's this? Pro Project X needs to get out of this ring. Come on now. Well, look at Daniel Weeds. Daniel Weeds saw it coming, and now he's facing up. Whoa. 
Elijah, 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 Elijah Cruz now. Oh my God! Look at the smile. Daniel Eats has oh no idea. Daniel he just put his hands not, on him. Wait, yeah. he put his hands on him. Daniel Eats doesn't see it. Big boot. Big, big boot by Elijah Cruz now. Cruz has him. Oh, what is happening here? Dragon sleeper of sorts with the ropes. No, oh. he wasn't using the ropes. No, he's that second rope now. Here comes Cruz. Oh, slipped on, landed him. My goodness, but my goodness. He just caught him with that one, though. One, two, and no. Only a two count. I mean, Elijah Cruz overstepping a little bit, but man, he was able to go to land. Look at the pain on Eads' face right now. Probably that's what saved Daniel Eads was a little bit of an overflight right there. Still making great contact and now has a target to target. Yeah, now just driving those knees right into the spine of D Daniel Eads. And I mean, Project X getting involved. I mean, he pushed him. That should have been a disqualification I'm right there. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying George Ross knows how much the fans want to finish on this one. We've already had a little bit too much chaos. Shades of Dr. Feel Bad RWA this oh, year. Stop it. But right now, that reverse chin lock applied by Cruz and just yanking him. Yanking him. And now just yanking. Wait, now wait a couple elbows to the, the solar plexus here. Oh, and just. My God, just meat hooked him right down on that back. My goodness, he just kept pounding on the back of AIDS. And right now, he has. Oh, he's choking him on that second rope. He's still. I mean, I hate to say it. He has to the count of five. And you know, Cruz is going to extend that. And George Ross now, oh, oh. Now again, Project X getting involved when he doesn't need to be. Yeah, it's twice now. I'm, I'm not going to cover for it. Uh, it's twice that Project X has interfered in this matchup, and George Ross is just dropping the ball. Tony, you might want to say a bunch of positives towards Project X. They like to visit oh, you. Oh, he's, he's a god of I mean, pro wrestling. Project but Society man. as a whole, they will visit you when you least expect it. Trust me, I learned that last month. Right now, just slapping Daniel. Oh, Daniel, he's just asking for it. He's like, bring it. Come on. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, just slaps him. And oh, big slap by the man of tomorrow. And Daniel is now showing why he is the three-time oh, RWA heavyweight oh, champion. Oh, my God, he's won that about three times. And oh, big kick to the midsection. And oh, man of tomorrow with a European uppercut. Send him to the moon on that one, Tony. He had to grab the top rope to stop him. Oh, wait a minute. Now Cruz picks him up, swings around. And oh, pretty much a swing around backbreaker. Scoop backbreaker. Right has him up. And now, lining him up here, has he had enough room, man? Suplex, but kind of with a little bit of a modified brain buster on that one. Did you see him drive him to the mat? One, two, and no! Only a two count. Yeah, it was such a tight angle that he drove his head first. It's very ingenious to use the suplex. Usually when you use the suplex, you use the full fulcrum of your momentum. Elijah Cruz is so strong that he's able to actually cut off the fulcrum and divide it into a brain buster. And I know I just said a bunch of words that went over these idiots' heads, but believe me, physically, that's impressive. And right now, Elijah Cruz showing why he feels he should be pretty much a top contendership along with Project X for that RWA Heavyweight Championship. I mean, he had an opportunity last month. Yeah, I mean, you know what? That's his bad hit. Oh, oh my God. Jesus. That was a shotgun blast if I ever heard one. My goodness. How's your face? Offensive linemen don't explode that hard. Oh my God! Hey, that, that, that close line looked like it knocked out Project X. All I'm, gonna, all I'm gonna say is this: Elijah Cruz's spit, hair, soul, and teeth went into the third row on that one. I mean, God, Jim and oh Christmas. Daniel, he's trying to get to his feet. If he can get Oaks it up, he Wait. has has it been? Oh, big boot, lost the arm, and big forearm. Could we see it? Oh, set up for the Black Meteor, right, maybe? Oh! Cruz out on his feet. This could be a rare. Roll him up. No. no. Big low end super kick on that one, Tony. Caught him from the knees, and you know that's more pressure than the chin on that one. And right now, the man of tomorrow showing why he is the measuring stick here in RWA. Cocked up, loaded. It's ready to go. Are we going to see it? The prophet. Nobody gets up from this, Tony. Nobody. I think and right now. I think Elijah Cruz has no idea where he is. No, I mean, he, I mean that clothesline took a hell of a lot out of him. And right now, comes around. Here he goes. Oh, oh wait a minute. No. He's Close him up. coming through. One, two, three. It's over. Eats wins. Eats wins. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute! Daniel Eads using a little bit of trickery to 
there. It was supposed to be the prop system. What happened? One, two, three. Tricked him because I saw Cruz get ready. It doesn't for, matter, dog. Right now, Project X is just attacking. Daniel Weeds, damn it. Project Society trying to run rampant here at RWA. And here we go. Project X holding Daniel Weeds back. And a oh, super kick. Wait a minute. I know that music. Wait a minute. The lawyer. The lawyer's here. It's about to get big time in West Newton. Where the hell did he come from? Did you see him come in? I didn't see him. Oh, you think we'd see that man come through the goddamn door? You can't miss somebody like that. And West Newton is out of its mind right now. Bill Call, you're coming to the aid of his rival. I hate to say it because his rival. But a respected rival in Daniel Weeds. Good friends, better rivals. These men have had wars with each other. But Daniel Eads, seeing Bill Collier, we've seen them earn a grudging respect for each other. And well, they stand tall in this ring. They do stand tall in this ring. And Bill Collier, and we haven't seen him in a couple months. Welcome back to West Newton, sir. Wait, he's asking for, wait, wait what's, well, what's feel bad doing? He wants some. Bill Collier wants something. Wait a minute. But but both Project X and Danny Weeks have all fought here. What, what's going to happen now? Wait, hold on. Oh my god, the wild this is west not on the street. Oh my god. Are we going to see what I think we're about to see here? Project Society, Daniel Reeves and Bill Collier tagging for the first time ever. We can't repeat that, although wow. I have before. This is the Wild West, folks, and this is what happens here in RWA. Bill Collier and Daniel Eads tagging for the first time against Project Society. And as you can hear the crowd letting uh, Project Society know they made an accident. A bad one. A I very bad one. Project X accepting this? Do you ever see this man shut up? He's not going to turn this no, down. No, he's not going to turn this down because if you think about it, what if? What if Project Society can go through not only Daniel Weeds, but, but Bill Collier? You have a point. They smell opportunity. And uh, Cruz goes, I've had enough. Come on, boss. It's your turn. And here comes the leader of Project Society, Project X. And these two, no strangers to each other from last month. Daniel Weeds wants some revenge, and now he has it. Wait, wait, what's he? Oh, wait, wait, he's asking for something. Well, uh, I, I, that was rightfully so. He owed him there. And now, in the corner of Call Your Needs, Project X is stuck. And oh, here we go again. Like a missile right into his ribs. And here we go. Call Your Needs, Eads and Call Your Wow, this for the is first weird. Time. And, oh, my goodness. Usually they're beating the hell out of each other. Well, I, I got to remind everyone that these two have had a best of seven series. It went three, three, one. And all oh, throws him in that opposite corner now. And oh, big European uppercut by Bill Collier. I mean, my God, if you think about it, the record between Eads and Collier is 3-3-1. Three, three, and one. I just said that. I literally just said that. I am so into this, Tony. I am so sorry. I apologize to you for the first time ever. And it's a big suplex by Collier. Big suplex by big time Bill Collier. I don't know if Project X is regretting this, but I think he should be. 
My goodness, and Tony, can you hear the crowd right now? They are just, they haven't stopped. They're going ballistic here. But then again, would you expect anything We've less from this. our beloved fans? I've seen this oh, a bunch. Oh, the strength. He has him up and throws him in that opposite corner. My goodness, I could break a wrist right there, but I don't think Bill Collier cares at this point. And right now, oh no, holding him back. Here we go. He, I just want to, I just want to hear it. Oh my goodness. And Eads now in control has him. And my goodness, he's been nothing but Project X just taking and paying for his sins, you could say, from last month. And look at the strength of the man of tomorrow. Keep it up and just driving him down with that suplex. Held him up there so long he could have ordered a pizza and got it for free. One, two, just a two count. And you see Daniel Eads saw Elijah Cruz was coming. My goodness, but hey, that's tag team. You got to break out and you got to break the pin up. Neither Elijah Cruz, nor Daniel Leeds, nor Taylor X were prepared for a tag match. Bill Poyer came out here with this idea in mind. He was the only one. If you look, Eads has him in that uh, one arm or one leg of crab. Yeah. Oh my goodness. And sort of oh, a Lance, Lance Storm style uh, sorry, single leg crab. Lance Storm was the best at it, but then again, Daniel Eads showing the RWA fans that these two can actually work together. I mean, this, this is an impromptu tag match between these two. And my God, Collier now. Oh! Well, they oh, hurt his shoulder. And right now, Elijah Elijah Cruz, the temptation finally tagged into this matchup. I mean, Elijah Cruz has had one hell of a day so far. I, I, do, have, anyway. I do have to point out something. Bill Collier's the freshest man in this ring, and if he's injured, that is not good for Daniel Eads or Bill Collier. Uh, double suplex by Project Society. Cruz rolls him up. One. Oh, only a one count. And Daniel Bill Collier is no, a excuse me, Collier just kicked out of that. Bill Daniel Collier is, is a freak of nature. I, I'm sorry to keep talking over you as Elijah Cruz is now this laying is the boots. Match. This is exciting. I'm yes. losing it. And right now, these two back and forth. And my goodness, Tony, now Project Society cutting the ring in half, as you love to say. That death that, corner. That death corner. And oh, my goodness. Now chopping away on Bill Call. You're kind of getting some receipts here for his uh, leader, Project X. And now and Project is, X tagged back in here. And this is why the death corner is so important. And Project X and Elijah Cruz, Project Society, work together as a tag team on the reg. So they understand. Separate the ring. Cut it in half. Control your opponent and your side. It makes quick tags easier. It makes it harder for your opponent to get the tag that he needs to save himself. And look at the life being choked out of Bill Collier right now with that modified cross face. And right now, he is just going to town, just stretching, and you know what? It's also working that shoulder, Tony, which we saw Collier injure earlier. And oh my goodness, and again, he, he kind of pulled the hair on that one. But then again, I mean, when doesn't hair get pulled in professional wrestling? I don't care who you are. Unless you're bald. But right now, actually, that's a pro to be involved. It's a big tag by Elijah Cruz right there. Second as he's rope. stretching out the, the has sternum. It. And, oh, just did you see that second rope stomp? Right right on the rib cage. Notice he was stretching out his sternum, stretching out his rib cage right there to make the added pressure, tightening up that muscle, and now focusing on it. Yeah, that, go, that went through the whole body right there. And now backflip. Oh, lands it. One, two, and no. I mean, that moonsault. Elijah Cruz, what can I say? Agility, strength, he has it all. And he's trying to take that to big time Bill Collier. All four these of guys, these men. If you, all four of these men. If you think about it, all these guys, you know, Project Society, very strategic, very, you know, play, they were not planning to see Bill Collier tonight. Neither were we. No. I don't think anybody in this building was. No, but notice, notice this chin lock. He's now raking the face, pulling on the nose. I just bought the mic showing it like anyone can see me. But my God, Tony, we are, this, like I said, you know, you get involved in matches. This one right here is just, it's, it's an eye-opener. My God. For the first time ever, Collier needs tagging. But right now, Liza Cruz. Now, oh, reversal by Collier. He has it. Power slam. Just caught him. My goodness. Just whipped him over. And right now, can Collier get over and tag his partner? This Project X is tagged in. Here comes Collier. Runs. Tags him in. Here comes Eads. Oh, big close line to Project X. Project X not doing. Another one. Here comes the man of tomorrow. Big boot to the face. Bicycle kick style using the momentum. And now has him. Oh, big forearm. And Sorry. another one. Here they go. Alternating. Back and forth. And now Daniel Wade sending him as that opposite corner. Here he goes. European uppercut and a beauty. And now this crowd getting behind Project X. He looks worn, but I know that man's not out yet. Yeah, no, oh, it's not up. Project X as oh, he goes him. for that pump handle. Eads now has him up. And Project X, oh my goodness, just a backbreaker. Pump handle into a backbreaker. Yeah, my nutty. God. Nutty, right? I mean, what can you say? 
three-time champ. Yeah. What do you expect? Exactly. And right now, he is getting the revenge he's been wanting on Project Society from last month. Look at those shots. Those and now, oh action. my goodness, in it. Project, what can I say about Project X? He just has it all. And oh, stomping on the fingers. You do not want to break those fingers. You can't make a fist with the fingers. Oh, big super kick. Low end super kick. Shades of Daniel Eats. He does that same kick. I mean, Project X showing, hey, if and you can do it, I can do better. Dragging him into the corner for Elijah Cruz. Now cutting off the ring again. And here we go. Cruz off the ropes. And oh, a little bit of strutting. Oh, drops that elbow. And here comes Project X now up. Unbelievable. Standing shooting star. My goodness, and uh, has him up. Standing frog splash. One, two, and no. My goodness, to take that much punishment and kick out Daniel Weeds. He is just an entity in his own. My I God. mean, credit to Daniel Weeds for kicking out, but look at the agility of both Elijah Cruz and Project X to be able to do oh. that tandem, tandem, tandem. Big oh. right hand. He's just delivering those punches now. Now, Tony, here's the thing. I'm not taking anything away from Project Society. My God, these Smart. guys are finally to the machine because these guys have done this before. Daniel Weeds and Bill Collier, however, this is the first time in history that these rivals who we've seen all over the territory pretty much beat the living hell out of each other yep. are tagging, which Daniel Weeds said, if you could, you heard it on the mic, if you told me that I was going to tag with Bill Collier, you know, oh, what is this? I don't, the crowd's not really even counting a couple fans of Project Society, but not many. Oh, no, and right now we're at the count of six here, and now he's going for something here. Oh, big kick to the chest. My goodness. This is why Control Your Narrative has a contract with this man right here. Absolutely. Absolutely. And this is also why Project Society is so feared. They're controlling this matchup. Dan Elites has been in the ring for, by my watch, about 20 minutes, both the tag match and the single. Big shoulder block by Cruz right now. Both of Project Society in that ring. Project X with that elbow. One, two, and no, only a two count, says George Ross. Yeah, notice Elijah Cruz is starting to get very frustrated that they have not been able to put down Daniel Elites because, again, as I said, Daniel Elites has been in this ring 20 minutes with the singles match plus the tag team. He has been taking the brunt of this offense, but he's trying right. to get back. Speaking forearms. of brunts, right now, look at those forearms. My oh, goodness. Spinning heel kick. My goodness. And Elijah, Elijah Cruz out. Yeah, he's on. He went the one knee. Wow, he's like, right now, call your tag in. So has been Project X. Here we go. Big clothesline by Collier. The one known as Big Time showing Project X. My goodness. Has him. Tracks him up. And again, Bill Collier, no stranger to. Wow. Samoan drop. Just threw him. Samoan flip. Excuse me. Fall away. Never. Fall away slam. There you go. Pardon me. I'm just so excited. Yeah, I know. I get it. Big shotgun. Jesus. One, two, and a Barely. In for the save. Barely. Cruise in for the save. Unbelievable. But now, Daniel Eads is set up and looks like he has Elijah Cruz targeted. Oh, super kick by Eads. And did you see the eyes roll in the back of the Temptations head on that one? My God. And right now... Project X is just asking, just begging for Bill Collier to get up. He is waiting for something here. Has him in. Oh, big punch. Has another one. Big right. And another one. Those are hard rights. Yes, they are. Back and forth. Oh, oh that's a hard one. one. And another one. And Bill Collier now trying to gain some momentum here. And oh, big boot. And oh, my goodness. Did you see his head hit the lower rope? I mean, that was just double the pain. But then again, it's Bill Collier. What do you expect? Has him. It's about big. Oh, he's going for that suplex, but misses him. Rolls him up. One, two, and no. Only a two count. Project X. So, spear. Oh, Jesus. Spear. My goodness. And right now, Bill Collier. Tags in Daniel Weeds. Here we go. Oh, he's oh, he left on an island by himself. Oh, breakfast. Knocks him out. This could be it right here. One, two, no! What? He kicked out the proud fist. Yeah, Bill Collier's punch and the proud fist. That was a, just a lethal injection in its own. But they, oh my God! How did he kick out both of those? Uh, my, my. How in the blue hell did Project X kick out both of those? How's he still? He's walking. How's he walking from this? Are you out of your mind? I can't believe what I'm seeing here. What, what's going on here? What, where are they going? 
Are you kidding me right now? You gotta be kidding me. You cannot walk away from a match like this. They, they, well, tell them, I guess they just told Collier and Eads is number one. Wow.